Jim Rich lost his son Brian in the worst aviation accident in firefighting history. He was loved by so many people in this valley at his personal memorial. We had so many people come up to us and tell us about things he had done for him just, uh, out, of, you know, just out of caring for them. Brian was one of nine people who died in August 2008 when the Sikorsky helicopter he was riding in crashed in the Shasta Trinity National Forest. Brian was a grayback forestry firefighter battling the Iron 44 fire. He was an outdoor guy, he loved the Rogue River, he loved fish. But now, seven years later, relief for Rich and other families who lost their loved ones will have to wait. The man prosecutors say is responsible for the helicopter crash, Stephen Matheny, had his sentencing rung long. The judge will continue the hearing and hand down a verdict Tuesday morning. Matheny had previously pleaded guilty to filing a false statement and conspiracy to defraud the U.S. Forest Service. We feel that he needs to be put in a place where he has a lot of time to think about what he did. Federal prosecutors say the former vice president of Carson Helicopters falsified the helicopter weight and balance charts and the performance charts of the helicopters in order to gain a competitive advantage and $20 million worth of contracts from the Forest Service. Many of the family members at the sentencing said what makes it worse is that their beloved brothers, husbands, and sons are dead because of Matheny's greed. We know that it was greed that contributed to the death of our children. And we, uh, we want to make sure that Mr. Matheny gets everything that's coming to him. Matheny's sentence won't bring Rich's son back, but he says it does help provide a little bit of closure, and it can't get here soon enough. In Medford, Cassie Nelson, NBC5 News. Fast forward to Monday, upon learning of the indictments of two long-